Thanks a lot, Ruchika. On Upsada, top story on Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandrababu Naidu's list of demands. On his daily visit, Chandrababu Naidu has demanded that his state of Andhra Pradesh be given special category status. He's also demanded a hefty package of 15,000 crore rupees. He believes that his state faces a huge revenue deficit and obviously wants the center's help to tide over the crisis. Joining me now is my colleague Pratibha Raman to get a perspective. Pratibha, it's obviously not easy for Mr. Naidu given the fact that he has promised the moon to different sections of people from pensioners to the unemployed to the farmers. Where is he going to get all that money from? Well, as you rightly pointed out, Sudhir, uh, one of his first promises has been the farm loan waiver, and that itself totals to at least about 54,000 crore rupees. And now that he has promised a lot of SOPs to pensioners as well, to start with fulfilling his promises, he has to look towards the center for help, to help bail him out with all these uh, promises. The fact that we must remember is that Andhra Pradesh has now lost Hyderabad, and Hyderabad has always been synonymous with uh, Andhra Pradesh, and now that that's city is lost to Telangana, uh, Chandrababu Naidu is left with a residuary state of Andhra Pradesh that needs to start from scratch. He needs to build a market. He needs to brand Andhra Pradesh. And for that, he will need to seek the help of center. Now, how far will Mr. Modi help him out is a big question because Modi has always uh, pointed out the fact that the country is now under a heavy fes fiscal deficit and that he will need to take some important right. financial decisions considering that how far will Mr. Modi help Chandra Babu Naidu is the key question. Absolutely, Pratibha. But the crucial question also is that if the center gives that special category status to Andhra Pradesh, a similar demand will also come from Telangana. How is the Prime Minister going to really balance the two states? That's again a precarious uh, uh, spot that Mr. Modi will be put in because politically uh, the Telangana government has always accused Mr. Modi of being pretty biased towards Chandrababu Naidu considering that the NDA has aligned itself uh, with the TDP. And uh, that apart, uh, Telangana, apart from Hyderabad, uh, the rest of Telangana comes from a backward region and that has been one of the major causes for the Telangana agitation considering that now Telangana will really why for the special category state is considering that uh, the Telangana government comes from the backward region and that will be far more uh, an important reason to gain the special category status. So that will be one of the demands that Mr. Modi will have to look out for, which will crop up from the Telangana Absolutely. region. Absolutely. Right. Uh, Pratibha, thanks a lot for joining us there with that perspective. It is going to be a huge decision for Ch Narendra Modi because he has to balance not just the states of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. And of course, Andhra Pradesh has to literally start from scratch. But even Telangana, barring Hyderabad, remaining part of the nine districts, largely undeveloped and backward. Moving on to another important story, this time from Tamil Nadu. Now, Chief Minister Jayalalitha today launched yet another product bearing the Amma name, Amma Pharmacy. In fact, there are a host of Amma medical stores which have been started, 10 in all, and in another few weeks, there will be 100 outlets across Tamil Nadu. Now, medicines at these shops will cost at least 10% cheaper, and a sum of 20 crore rupees has been allotted to open 200 shops. So you already have Amma Water, Amma Salt, and of course the Amma Canteens. And people in Chennai, people across Tamil Nadu, this is what they had to say about the new initiative. This is nothing new. But my, our main concern is that the Chief Minister is not concerned about the core activity of this government, of any governance. She is not bothered about the land order problem. She is not bothered that uh, the, for the third consecutive year, Kuruvai crop has failed because of no water and Kaveri Delta farmers are suffering. She is not bothered about that. She is not bothered about industries going out of Tamil Nadu. She is not bothered about building infrastructure within Tamil Nadu. She is not bothered about creating jobs for the youth who are uh, gra graduating uh, from the state. She is not bothered about any of these things. But she is going on selling things. It is a very good idea of our CM uh, contributing more more services to the our people of Tamil Nadu. She is uh, already opened the uh, water and also uh, the beautiful canteen. Uh, especially in the case of retired persons, it will be all the more helpful because 
we can get the medicines at a comparatively lower rate, lower price. That will make us a saving to some extent. Joining me now from Chennai is my colleague Shrisha Reddy. Shrisha, Jalalata and the AIDMK's victory in the Lok Sabha elections was largely credited to the kind of welfare agenda that she has pursued. But given the kind of loss to the exchequer, would you say that it is a case of good politics but bad economics? Well, Sudhir, these kind of measures by the JR government has been generating a lot of goodwill for uh, for her uh, uh, for, for Tamil Nadu, in fact. But one has to look into the details to know whether it's actually benefiting the government itself. One is that uh, the fiscal deficit of Tamil Nadu is spent around like 26,000 crore rupees, and to get to the details, and about 5,000 uh, crore rupees has been spent on this subsidy. One. And the second one is that uh, the Amma canteens, though they have been, it has set a precedent across uh, across the country and also across the world. In fact, we did see uh, official from the West who, who landed here in Tamil Nadu to take a cue how Amma canteens are functioning. And is that Amma canteen suffers at least a five, uh, five, lakh, uh, five, lakh, uh, five lakh per day, uh, you know, loss uh, every, every day. So which, which, which amounts up to 18 crore rupees per year. So these are the details that we, if we look into it, it's, it's of course, as you clearly pointed out, it's good politics but bad economics as, uh, you know, it's, it's not a much of a profitable uh, business at whatever Amma, Amma, Amma uh, you know, the products are taking, you know, be it salt, or be it, uh, uh, you know, Amma pharmacies or right. be it Amma canteen. So we'll have to wait to know whether this will actually generate uh, some amount of profit to the government itself. Right. Uh, right. Thanks a lot, Shisha. In fact, the Amma brand nevertheless is getting very, very strong. It will remain there in the public consciousness. In fact, Hyderabad has taken a leaf or let's say an idli out of the Amma canteen book and in fact has started many shops here in uh, Hyderabad to provide subsidized food to many people here in the city. Pratibha Raman found out what's there on the menu. The Amma canteens in Tamil Nadu will no longer be a case of neighbors envy or owners pride. Because borrowing a leaf, or shall we say an idli and sambar from Jay Lalita's kitchen concept, the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation is now serving hot and hygienic meal for the poor at only 5 rupees. The fare includes a generous dose of steamed rice, piping hot sambar and potato curry. It is very good, but it is very good to eat from it. If you eat from it, it is not a good thing to eat from it. It is not a good thing to eat from it. It is not a good thing to eat from it. It is not a good thing to eat from it. It is not a good thing. This food is specially prepared by the Akshay Patra Foundation known for its midday meal scheme for government school children in Bangalore. Now this plate costs 5 rupees and every center of theirs sees at least 300 people benefiting from this. The municipal body spends 20 rupees on each plate. So far, the scheme has been introduced at eight centres and by the end of June, the corporation intends to start another 40-odd centres, which means catering to a footfall of 15,000 every day. The annual budget set aside by the corporation towards the exercise is 11 crore rupees. Once those 15, 150 centres are launched, we'll be launching another unique scheme of one rupee breakfast, which will include three menus, different either ukma, idli or vada, so that in a, in a rupee, the uh, poor citizen of Hyderabad can have his breakfast and in a rupee five can have his lunch. At a time when the rupee value is fast deteriorating, the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation is serving food to the unprivileged for just five rupees and in the process, bringing smiles to the faces of many. With Pratibha Raman, Karishma Singh for Headlines Today.